240. Alright, cool. Here we are. I finished the uh, repairs on both landing gears. You can probably see the Corsairs sitting crooked because the one had a broken, this gear broke and I kind of jury rigged it up where it's into a piece of wood. There's no real solid. I'm just hoping to get one take off on the hard surface before I I have an idea for a redesign, I just don't want to take it apart now. But I just finished the Mustang, and it's not as uh, bad. It was a lot harder to get it anywhere near that though, until just recently. I've been working on it since the cut, but uh, I do believe it's a pretty sturdy build. I just basically took both mounts out of the wing and I, I reattached the gear into the plastic and screwed it down. I had to make a custom a custom little uh, like washer out of plastic and I put it across the wire like it's supposed to be, but it's sturdier than it was. And it actually doesn't look as bad as the Corsair. So I'm happy about that. I got fired up, rain shed, weather, got gas, airlines, elevator. And I also put a little bit of up elevator on each side, uh, airline on each side, as I heard described in a certain channel, I'm sorry, I can't remember who said it. However, I took that to heart to keep the wing stalls. It was said about, I believe, before Sarah, or maybe it was this Mustang, the 750 that I'm getting ready to come have delivered here any day. So here we're ready. And here it is. Ready for rollout on our new hard surface. And I hope you watch and see the remaidens and the first uh, takeoffs on a hard surface since I've had either one of them. And thank you for watching. If you feel generous, you can subscribe. Doesn't cost anything generous in your time and to watch my channel. I appreciate everybody's viewership and uh, happy flying. Keep them flying. Thank you.